When the new Tesla Cybercab prototype appeared discreetly circulating on the streets of California in 2026, it looked more like a scene from a movie than a simple automotive test. But those who looked closely realized it wasn't just another futuristic Tesla car. It was a kind of mobile disguise for a secret that Elon Musk had been nurturing for years. Behind that minimalist design and subtly remodeled curves lay the first real incarnation of the much-talked-about Gen 3 platform, the basis of the Model 2, the car that promises to bring high-level vehicle intelligence to the pocket of the average citizen. And the most intriguing thing, this time, the prototype wasn't just a showroom model. It was almost ready for production. Right off the bat, what caught the eye was the steering wheel. Yes, a steering wheel. After so many promises of total autonomy, the fact that a car of the future still has manual controls might seem contradictory. But for those who follow Tesla's inner workings, it was clear that this was intentional. Musk had said he would launch hybrid versions, part drivable, part autonomous. A steering wheel at this stage of the prototype is not a step backward. It's a deliberate transition. The presence of this element indicates that Tesla is fine-tuning the last details to deliver a versatile line to the market, where the consumer can choose between driving or being driven. The exterior changes also deliver much more than just aesthetics. The rear has been slightly raised, which is not only a design choice, but an aerodynamic decision to increase energy efficiency. The shortened tail helps save material and reduces weight, something crucial for cutting costs and increasing range. The reflectors have been moved to the extremities, and the side cameras have changed position, probably to expand the field of vision of the autonomous system. The feeling when seeing these changes is clear. Every line of the car is there for a functional purpose and not to impress at auto shows. Another revealing detail was the reconfiguration of the B-pillar and the doors. The new prototype features larger doors with easier access and a structural positioning that suggests simplification in the assembly process. Tesla isn't just building a beautiful car. It's redesigning how a mass-produced car can be manufactured with minimal complexity. Even the wheels caught attention. None of those exaggerated covers from the early concepts. The vehicle now runs on standardized tires, ready for the production line. Even the side mirrors, which still appear in this model, are only there due to temporary legal requirements. When the final driverless version is cleared by regulations, they will disappear, and with them, other unnecessary elements. This logic of modularity and adaptation to local laws shows that Tesla is developing a global product, not a regional experiment. Every piece, every angle, every cut was designed with scalability in mind. We're not talking about a prototype for the elite. We're seeing the basis of a $25,000 vehicle that can operate in both Los Angeles and Sao Paulo. Now, there's a curious scene that went viral and, despite its humorous tone, revealed valuable clues. In a teaser posted on Halloween by Tesla's AI team, nicknamed Animal Style, the Cybercab is casually shown driving through an in-and-out burger drive through Does it seem like just a joke? Maybe. But the video shows segmented LED daytime running lights, new functional turn signals, split headlights, and a visibly cleaner and more aerodynamic front. Details that didn't exist in previous models, and that confirm the project is evolving towards the assembly line. Behind this new visual chapter of the Cybercab lies the true star of the revolution, the Gen 3 platform. Unlike anything Tesla has ever built, this new architecture was designed from the very first stroke to be inexpensive, efficient, and incredibly easy to scale. Elon Musk has repeatedly said that there's no point in creating amazing cars if they can't be mass-produced. And that's precisely the central point of Gen 3, making the impossible seem simple. The goal? To reduce production costs by more than 50% compared to the Model 3 and Model Y. But this is only possible because Gen 3 isn't just a chassis. It's an entire redesigned assembly system, 
The modular structure allows different models, from a compact city car to a futuristic autonomous taxi, to be produced using the same bases, machines, and even the same batteries. This reduces the number of parts, shortens manufacturing time, and simplifies repairs. It's almost like assembling cars with a giant 3D printer. And the most incredible thing is that all of this is being designed to operate on production lines that function almost without human intervention. It's not just about robots automating the process, it's a new type of factory, where each stage is optimized in a continuous and almost choreographed flow. The doors of the new CyberCab, for example, are larger and have fewer moving parts. This reduces assembly steps and increases durability. The hood and side panels also follow this reasoning, with strategic folds to reinforce the structure without needing to add more metal. And as if that weren't enough, the design is intentionally clean, without unnecessary details, which helps both aerodynamics and paintwork. The Gen 3 isn't trying to be beautiful in the eyes of a luxury designer. It wants to be functional, inexpensive, and easy to manufacture anywhere in the world. Another clever move is in the positioning of the cameras, sensors, and internal connectors. They have been relocated so that they can be quickly fitted into the production line, with minimal exposed cables and less risk of failure. This directly impacts the Model 2, which can be assembled with a simplified structure and fewer manual adjustments. In other words, less time, less cost, fewer errors. And all of this translates into something that directly affects the end consumer. A smart car that fits the budget of the middle class without sacrificing technology. The interesting thing is that this same philosophy extends to how the cars will connect to the rest of the Tesla ecosystem. The Gen 3 platform is already being designed with full compatibility with FSD, full self-driving, and the new AI chips. It's not a car meant to receive future updates. It's born ready for that. The idea is that the Model 2 will be a living vehicle, one that learns, improves, and updates itself over time without needing new hardware for every software advancement. A car that grows with its owner. Seriously, this completely changes the game. Another point that demonstrates the level of detail in Gen 3 is the battery mounting system. Elon Musk has always emphasized that the battery pack should be part of the car's structure. And now, this is more evident than ever. With the new platform, the battery base itself acts as the car's floor, eliminating extra layers and optimizing space. This makes the car lighter and safer. Furthermore, it reduces assembly time by up to 30%. When you're talking about millions of units per year, this difference becomes a chasm between success and failure. The arrival of version 14 of FSD, Tesla's autonomous driving system, completely changes the game, especially now in 2026. And we're not just talking about a software update. This version marks such a significant evolutionary leap that it seems like a completely different product. The most surprising thing? Tesla began rolling out this version with the most complex vehicle in its fleet, the Cybertruck. This alone reveals the company's confidence in the robustness of the new system. But what few realized is that all of this was conceived with an even more ambitious goal, to prepare the ground for the Model 2, the affordable, intelligent, and fully autonomous car. The great breakthrough of the FSD V14 is that it has gone beyond being just a driving assistant and has become a decision-making platform. Now, the car is capable of understanding much more complex contexts, such as roadworks, unmapped detours, school zones, and even emergency vehicles. It no longer relies exclusively on GPS or static maps. Everything is interpreted live, based on the car's own computer vision. In other words, it sees, thinks, and decides. And the best part? This intelligence is being calibrated to operate perfectly in compact vehicles, such as the Model 2. And if anyone thinks that such an advanced system can only work in high-cost cars, they're mistaken. What Tesla is doing is exactly the opposite. It's using the Cybertruck, 
its most challenging model, as a laboratory to then apply the same intelligence in a simplified way to an entry-level vehicle. It's like teaching a robot to drive a four-wheel drive truck so it can then easily drive a scooter. This strategy reduces development costs and allows the Model 2 to be born with a top-of-the-line brain. Another point that reinforces this view is the system's new level of autonomy. The FSD can now decide on its own where to park. Garage, street, public or private parking space. It seems small, but it's a gigantic leap. This type of decision requires not only reading signs and obstacles, but also contextual judgment, something only a mature AI is capable of doing. For the Model 2, this means that the car will be able to operate without driver intervention in virtually all everyday urban situations. This completely changes the relationship between car and user. Furthermore, the new version brought an important refinement, adjustable driving profiles. The driver can choose between more aggressive or more cautious modes, affecting everything from acceleration to lane changes. This type of customization not only makes the experience more comfortable, but also allows people with different driving styles to quickly adapt to the car's behavior. In the case of the Model 2, this means it will be the ideal car for both a hurried young person and a lady who just wants to calmly go to the market. And when it comes to obstacles, the new FSD shows it's playing on another level. Tires thrown on the track, branches, cones, boxes. All of this is now detected with much greater precision and not just avoided, but interpreted. The AI understands the context and decides the best detour without causing discomfort. For a popular car like the Model 2, this is essential. After all, it will be driven on all kinds of roads, including the most potholed ones in the countryside or in chaotic urban centers. Tesla's promise is that the Model 2 will not be a smart car, only in theory. What makes this new autonomous driving system even more revolutionary, especially for the Model 2, is its ability to adapt to different vehicles, geometries, and driving styles, something Tesla had to confront head-on when applying it to the Cybertruck. The challenge was enormous. A wide car with rear wheels that also turn, asymmetrical cameras, and a robust and unusual structure. Nothing that previous Tesla models used served as a basis. The team had to retrain everything with thousands of hours of specific data to teach the AI to understand this new vehicle anatomy. This effort was not in vain. It paved the way for something much bigger. The lesson learned from the Cybertruck is simple. If AI can adapt to such a unique vehicle, it can adapt to any other, including the Model 2, with its small size and urban geometry. This completely changes the logic of automotive development. Instead of creating specific systems for each model, Tesla is designing a single neural intelligence capable of dynamically adjusting. And this adjustment ranges from maneuvers to how the AI sees and interprets its surrounding environment. Ultimately, this flexibility is what will allow the Model 2 to reach the market with cutting-edge features without requiring a new development cycle. One detail that almost went unnoticed is how the sensors were repositioned in the Cybertruck. The side sensors, for example, have different angles and distances than the traditional standard. This required a new calibration routine so that the system could see correctly, even in blind spots. And why does this matter for the Model 2? Because small cars also have their limitations, especially in urban areas with heavy traffic. The AI that learned to handle the complexity of the Cybertruck now knows how to adjust its vision in any vehicle. This means fewer errors, fewer accidents, and more fluidity in everyday traffic. And that's not all. The system now takes into account not only steering, but also braking, acceleration, and even vehicle tilt behavior. The response is calibrated in real time, based on the car's size and weight. For a compact car like the Model 2, this is a huge advantage. It can be lighter, more agile, and still maintain the same level of safety and comfort as a larger car. In practice, the driver won't feel like they're in a cheaper Tesla, but rather a different Tesla, optimized for the city. 
but with the same innovative spirit. The idea of training a flexible AI also has a direct impact on costs. Instead of programming and testing individually for each car, Tesla trains the model once, and it learns to adapt. This reduces engineering time, saves resources, and allows for faster launches of new vehicles. And for the consumer, this means having access to more frequent updates with real improvements in driving, even years after buying the car. It's a continuous learning model, and the Model 2 will be the first in history to be born with this capability from the start. Another important technical point lies in how the system handles redundant commands and sensors. Instead of relying on a single type of input, such as GPS or radar, the FSD now combines visual, spatial, and predictive data to make decisions. This is essential for cars that will operate in locations where satellite signal is unstable or absent. The Model 2 will directly benefit from this, being able to operate confidently even in tunnels, enclosed garages, or poorly mapped streets. This contextual autonomy is not a luxury. It's a necessity to make the car truly reliable. The mind behind this revolution has a name and number. The AI5, AI6, and the highly anticipated AI8 chips. Elon Musk isn't just launching a new car. He's implanting a new brain in his fleet. By 2026, these chips will have become the center of Tesla's intelligence, replacing older hardware systems with something that goes far beyond driving. The AI5, for example, is already considered a monumental leap over the AI4, with up to 40 times greater performance. This isn't just faster, it's a whole different league. The kind of leap that allows a popular car like the Model 2 to have reflexes faster than any human behind the wheel. What's impressive is that this chip isn't being manufactured by just any company. Samsung and TSMC are dividing the AI5 production between factories in the United States, including state-of-the-art facilities in Arizona and Texas. The reason is strategic. To keep production under Western control and reduce Asian dependence, especially during times of trade tensions. Each company is responsible for a slightly different version of the chip with unique physical optimizations. This ensures greater flexibility without compromising standardization. For the consumer, this means security of supply and constant updates. The AI5 will be responsible for managing the entire nervous system of the Model 2, from FSD processing to controlling sensors, cameras, and even secondary functions like intelligent air conditioning and energy optimization. It learns from each journey, improves with each update, and, here's the key difference, shares this learning with the entire fleet. It's as if each Model 2 on the road is contributing to making the next ones even better. This capacity for collective learning is what transforms the car from a simple means of transportation into a member of a giant neural network. The AI6, which comes next, will be like a stronger and more efficient sibling. Although still in the full implementation phase, it promises to improve thermal performance and reduce energy consumption. This is crucial for compact models where every watt counts. With a chip that generates less heat and consumes less power, the Model 2 can maintain its high range even with complex real-time processing. This makes a difference in congested urban environments, where the car needs to make quick decisions without compromising the battery. But the real game-changer is the AI8. Still in advanced testing, it was designed to be a bridge between Tesla cars and SpaceX's orbital data centers.